Well, the jury has been chosen. A trial date now set. Walgreens in the state of Florida are going to court over the opioid crisis. This is part of that big lawsuit the state filed against several pharmaceutical companies, including CVS. But Walgreens is the only one that did not settle. ABC Action News reporter J.J. Burton has the details about the upcoming trial and reaction from a Pasco County man now in recovery. Uh, opiates was my my uh, drug of choice. Um, Meet Justin McPadden. I fell two two uh, two stories on a ladder and sprayed my ankle, and they gave me uh, you know sixty you know tens Lord Tab tens, which is a pretty big script you know for um for pain his addiction lasted 24 years his story is just like many others especially in pasco county where he was born and raised when it comes to the opioid crisis this is also one of the hardest hit counties in the state according to the cdc it was a craze it was like pill mills everywhere get this in hudson a town of just 34,000 people one walgreens location sold 2.2 million opioid pills in one year Attorney General Ashley Mooney says that's one of the reasons Pasco County is at the center of this lawsuit against dozens of pharmaceutical companies. Many of those companies, like CVS, settled out of court, except Walgreens. So Monday morning, April 11th, the showdown between Walgreens and the state will take place right here in Pasco County at the Circuit Courthouse in Newport Ritchie. And Mooney says Walgreens need to be held accountable for, quote, helping to create and fuel the deadly opioid crisis. Take responsibility and do what's right. Walgreens has declined to comment on the lawsuit. The state has recovered more than $3 billion from companies that settled out of court. And Justin has an idea for how he believes that money should be used. We need to have recovery mills. We need to have places to counteract what the damage has done. The AG's office also set up a portal online where local government agencies can go learn more about the settlement and request opioid-related funds. J.J. Burton, ABC Action News. Meanwhile, you just heard JJ say Florida has received more than $3 billion in settlement money. More than $800 million of that was just announced last week. The state announced CVS agreed to pay $484 million, and three other pharmaceutical companies agreed to pay a combined $329 million.